Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com. And when you're on a passage maker, you're gonna be going for long distances. That means you need safety, practicality, and comfort all coming together. Well, those ingredients fit very nicely into the Fleming 65. I'm gonna conduct a full features inspection and show you what I mean. The aft deck, 16 feet by nine feet. There's a table in the center. That's on a manually adjustable high-low pedestal. Deck chairs can be placed all around, of course. And this is under the protection of the high bulwarks. And look at the beautiful finish on these nine inch wide cap rails. Now most of this aft deck is protected by the extended flying bridge deck, seven feet, six inches off the deck. There's a seven inch elevated platform that brings us into the interior with two wide sliding doors. Well here we've got a wonderful combination of a homey feel mixed with a nautical touch and I really like the combination. First of all, Natural light everywhere, large windows to both sides, six feet, eight inches of overhead, and this is really indicative of an ocean going yacht, grab rail running down the entire length. There's always something to hold on to. Now as for seating, sofa over to the port hand side, opposing seating to the starboard side just behind a table, and this is on a fixed pedestal, and it's wood pedestal with storage underneath. This furniture is all built in, the two chairs are freestanding, Plenty of storage all around. And look at this fit and finish. Beautiful teak on the vents. Notice that they're up high so the room cools down evenly. The lighting, teak surrounding an ultra leather upholstered highlight with LED lighting inside. And look at the teak surrounding the windows. No simple joinery work here and it's even on the inside. The sconce lights are custom picked by the owner and talk about the little details that Fleming brings to the table. There's padding on the inside of the window frame so that when the blind is brought down, you won't hear it rattling while you're underway. Look at this corner piece. Satin finished teak with a gloss teak trim piece, raised edge all the way around. Look at the doors, raised edges, all separate pieces. One, two, three, four, five pieces to these doors. All of this is built in, as is all the furniture. It's not a module that just gets dropped into place. And because it's built in, it actually becomes a structural component to the vessel. And in the center of the cabinet is a 49 inch TV on an electric lift. Once it's in the up position, it reveals the entertainment center components underneath and still more along the side. And now if you look down below, teak and holly sole, and this is not a veneer. These are actually individually laid thick teak planks. Carpeting on top. To the port side, another corner cabinet. This time we're transitioning to a granite countertop, still with the gloss teak trim. Storage underneath, and that includes an ice maker. Just ahead of the sofa, another storage cabinet, and then directly across is a wine chiller. Now this transitions us into the galley area. It's separated by a counter and then storage overhead, and I can't help but notice the beautiful scale half model. Making our way into the galley, the galley is U-shaped with storage both above and below. Granite countertops continue, and again, the raised edge to the trim piece which is all out of teak. Double basin stainless steel sink. Ventilation is provided by the window. There's insta-hot water and also filtered cold water. More storage above. Convection microwave and induction cooktop with an extractor fan just above. Notice the storage solution right here, garage door style, and then this pulls out. This is duplicated right alongside. Below is a trash compactor and then an oven. At the end of the cabinet is bottle storage. Directly across is a refrigerator. Notice it's a full-size refrigerator. And I really have to appreciate the added touch of Fleming adding their own finish work to the outside of the refrigerator. There's a freezer underneath and then just around the corner, coffee nook. Storage that includes tableware, and then just above, another window. 
As we come forward to the raised pilot house, grab handles everywhere and notice that this area can be closed off for night operations in the pilot house. Day head, right here. Now, there's one more entertainment venue on the flying bridge. This can be accessed from the stairs right here or from the ladder in the cockpit deck. Okay, this is another welcoming entertainment area. Sofa to the port hand side. Just ahead of the sofa is a refrigerator. J-shaped seating over to the starboard side, wrapping around a beautiful teak table. And look at this inlay work. Absolutely stunning. This is on a high-low pedestal table that operates manually. Just ahead is a sun pad. Now, all this is under the protection of the hardtop, seven feet, eight inches off the deck. Extending just out past the hardtop is a gas grill. Well, clearly we've got a comfortable boat with multiple gathering areas, but she's also great for overnighting as well. That's gonna be happening down below. We can go with several options for how many staterooms and how many heads we want. This one has a three stateroom, three head layout. Let's take a look. And remember, passage maker, ocean going, grab rails, grab rails, grab rails, grab rails. We'll begin fully forward with the master. Boy, a lot to like here. Certainly, it's open and roomy enough with high overheads. Island berth in the center, accessible from both sides. There's storage to both sides and hull side windows to port and starboard. The headboard is mirrored. There's storage underneath that mirror. Notice just above, there's a large recessed area with the overhead hatch. And I love, again, the teak trim that we're just seeing everywhere. The storage cabinets, this one is a hanging locker. There's a hull side window, but we don't want light to escape into the room. So this one is double louvered. Louvers point down inside and outside. More storage, more storage, and this is repeated over to the other side where we also have drawer storage underneath. There's a vanity with a mirror and lighted. There's a swing out stool underneath. There's a TV just above, 49 inches. Now, the berth itself, island berth, there's storage underneath. If I simply undo a latch at the front, and there's a switch where I can raise the berth. This allows me to access all of the storage and also the bow thruster. Now all this is well and good, but it seems that the cabinets come out so far that it's very difficult to make the bed way back in the top. But Fleming thought of that, take a look at this. The entire berth slides aft, and now we can make the bed easily. Now of course this has a private ensuite, opening port light, and then storage. There's mirrors to both left and right, granite counter with a recessed sink and storage underneath. Really like this shower stall with the curved door and an electric flush toilet. The Teak and Holly Soul continues with carpeting on top. Now, of course, we can close off this stateroom for privacy. Next one, just over to the port hand side. This features twin berths side by side, storages and drawers under the berth, and in a hanging locker with more drawers beneath. There's some personal artwork on the bulkhead and plenty of room for reading material. Now, a couple of neat things. Notice the book racks, how they all have rails to hold the books into place and they easily lift out of space to access the books. And I can't help but notice this unique feature, a pull-out canvas cot. Moving forward, it's a full-length mirror, and then a pocket door leads us to the private ensuite, again, with a separate shower stall. And directly across the companionway is a sliding door to a stacked washer and dryer with plenty of room above for product. And our last stateroom is just aft into starboard with another pocket door. This time it's a single berth with a Pullman berth just above. There's a hull side window for the upper bunk. There's plenty of storage again. And then to the forward bulkhead, full length mirror and access to another ensuite with a separate walk-in shower. I have to tell you, as a fan of the Passage Maker lifestyle, the comfort level and fit and finish on this boat makes the Fleming 65 really something that I can get on board with. And that's my full features inspection. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.